let's see who it is. Little Mace Man, little Busy Body. You got the move, sir, because I got things to go. So, in today's video, as y'all can see by today's title, we are finally doing my spicy true boy drink question. And it looks like y'all have been some questions. Now, I did have my girlfriend write this out before she went into work, just so like I can't prepare myself for an answer. Um, Y'all see my pillow? Like, it's cute, right? Ah! This is really stop. Uh, you always want to do this when I start recording. Because these are really for dogs or pets. But what am I telling? But they're cute. So I got me and my girlfriend. I got the Reese's one for me. And then I got the Twizzlers one for her because her favorite color is red anyway. So I got both of these. And he swears this is his. Like, boy, move. I would have got him one, but he don't know how to take care of nothing. Y'all, like, I done got him so many toys. Stop. So many bears, he done busted them open, ripped them apart, tore it to pieces. I think, y'all see that bone right there? Though he got like two bones like that, two or three bones. And he got this like, this little silicone donut. Those are like the only two things I have been able to find that he has not been able to puncture through. But now he's just at a place where he, he messes everything up. So I don't buy him nothing else. He get what he... As I said in my last video, well, not my last video, but the video of what happened to my lip. Update, update. This is the lip. It just it just has a big dark mark on my face. Like. The bump. Yeah, still there a little bit. My lip roll is getting a lot better, so that's good. Even from afar, it just looks like a little dark. If y'all watched that video, if you haven't watched that video, you can pause this video, go back and watch that video to see what happened to my lip. But y'all know I said I was done drinking in that video. So I got Taylor Port. I have not drunk Taylor Port since earlier this year, y'all. Like, I think the last time I drunk Taylor Port was probably like March of this year because the last time I drunk Taylor Port, y'all, I had woke up with a mean headache, a mean hangover. And I, I was like, I cannot keep doing this. Like, this, I don't even know why this is sold with wine or even in Walmart food wine. This needs to be sold in a liquor store. This drink is lethal. Like, 18% alcohol. Hmm. I'm gonna use this for the main drink. If I do decide I don't want to drink, I mean, do decide I don't want to answer the question. I feel like I'm gonna answer most of these questions because. I'm not trying to drink this. Hopefully, I didn't OD with these questions. I did get me some Stella Rose as like a little chaser. Chasing wine with wine is crazy, but it is what it is. And then I got my little shot glass. My mama had got me this from Myrtle when she went for her birthday a couple months ago. And I'm so mad because y'all can see at the top, like... It's messed up. I didn't even, I haven't even got to use this cup yet, y'all. All I did was put it in the dishwasher so I can wash it. Cause you know how you want to clean your cups and stuff before you start using them? Did that and this is what I got. And I'm just like, okay, let's get into it. <sighs> so, mm, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, <sighs> I ain't scared. You ready, Mason? You ready, Mason, man? Look at you. Pick one. Pick this one. Let's see. First question is, have you, <laughs> have you cheated before? And the reason why I'm laughing when I read this is because if y'all seen the video that I was a part of with TYB Kells, for those who are subscribed to his channel, he put me and my girlfriend in the hot seat and he asked us, have we cheated? And in my opinion, I say, I'll say it's cheating, but to the minor degree. So that's why I basically say it's not cheating because it's like. So let me explain to y'all what I'm talking about. So basically back in 20, what? I moved out here 2015. So 2015, 2016, somewhere around that time. I had my first boyfriend down here in North Carolina and I had went back home to Iowa. Now, before I continue going, I knew my boyfriend at the time was cheating because I had seen messages in his phone. Like, he wasn't physically cheating, but he was texting other people, so that's cheating. Like, telling girls 
how they look good and call women boo bay and all this stupid stuff. So went to Iowa and I had a boyfriend in Iowa. So went back home. I had no intention on doing nothing with this man. It was one day I was down there, me and my cousin was walking to our to a neighborhood that we used to always kick it at when I lived down there or whatever. So we was walking or whatever, because like back in Iowa, you can literally walk to get to anywhere you're trying to go. So we was walking and a car passed and my ex happened to be in it. It was a car full of like five people. And we was literally down the street from where we were going. So they was like, oh, you wanna ride? Da-da-da. So it was like, yeah. So got in the car, I sat on my ex lap, got to the destination and all, we, all I did after that was hold his hand. Like, it's cheating, but it's not cheating. Like, you know, technically it's cheating, but nigga, that is such a minor degree of cheating. So like I said, I have never cheated. Anywho, I don't care what y'all say about that either. I don't care, I don't care. All right, one question down. Oh, Why well, I fuck I know who wrote this book? What are you gonna be drinking on? Water? I feel like nine times out of ten my girlfriend wrote this question. Cause it just sounded like something she would say. And thank you very much. I actually am drinking on the teleport day. The TP baby, don't play with me. I could have been a little pussy and did Stella Rose. But Stella Rose, that's that is juice for real. Like Alright, next question. Let me see. Would you ever let Icy spit in your mouth or would you spit in hers? No, ma'am. No, we're not doing that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Would I ever spit in Icy's mouth? I mean, if she asked me, but I'll kind of look at her like, okay. If that's what you want, like, okay. But is she spitting mine? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You could not even pull me off the ass, ma'am. But we've had that conversation before. We're both on the same page. We're not. No, you're not spitting in my mouth. And she's not spitting in mine. Like, so. Yeah. Next question. Have you or would you ever have a threesome? No, I have never had a threesome. Would I have a threesome? I don't know. Because I'd be in the middle, like. I know for a fact if I had a threesome, it couldn't be nobody like my person, like my girlfriend now. It could not be with her because what? No. And then I don't know. I've been in the middle for years. Like back when I used to like niggas, I used to tell myself like it couldn't be my nigga. What happened to somebody else's nigga? But then it was like this is before I really knew I like girls too. So I'm like, oh, that's too coochie. That's a lot of fluid going on. So I don't even know if I can still do it. So then now that I join, you know, strictly the girls, it's like now, I don't know. It would have to be on a very, 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 very drunk. And I don't drink no more, so I guess the answer would be no. <laughs> like, that's just the only answer. Next question, fuck, marry, kill. You didn't give me any... I didn't get a lineup, so I know my mom was supposed to be that way. I'll fuck Mary Kill, my girlfriend. All in one. <laughs> Next question. Drink or tell the last five lies you told. Um, alright, y'all. Y'all, oh my god. I have to share this with y'all. Pause this real quick. Y'all, I don't know what's been going on in the air, but something's going on in the air because why did I find out? Three of my friends are pregnant. Like, congratulations to everybody that's pregnant and having a baby. Congratulations. But, like, why is everybody getting pregnant at the same time? Like, why <laughs> what is going on in the air? Like, for the past six weeks, y'all, like, the sixth week, the fourth week, and today, every two weeks, one of my friends have texted me telling me they're pregnant. Like, today, right before I recorded this video, one of my friends texted me telling me that she was pregnant. Like, I don't know what's going on, but, yeah. So, when I looked at my phone, she had texted me back. That's what made me think about saying that, so, yeah. But, back to this. Um, drink or tell the last five lies you told? I don't know. I think I might have to drink, because I... Bring it back. Never 
tell you it's smelling me oh my god oh i got goosebumps can y'all see that oh my god this is giving me goosebumps just looking at it You got freaky. Um, the craziest place I got freaky. Let me see. According to my calculations, I want to say the freakiest place would have to be the movie theater. For the longest time, I did not think that was possible, y'all. But it's possible. It is very possible. And there was other people in the the thing why you gotta lay your fat self right here boy um it was other people it wasn't like a lot of people in there but it was still other people in there um yeah i give it to the movie theater i think anywhere else would be kind of like average to me yeah cars What's the next question, Mason? Read it. What is the most shiestiest thing you could think of that you've done? bad on my part but it's like that was my get back to that person but it's like if i was to tell y'all y'all be like oh my god like you're a hoe like that's some hoe shit but to me that's my get back like so i'm gonna respectfully take the shot to that one because you know i don't little boy i know you're not eating my questions and trying to be slick with it nasty Shot. I feel it. Oh my god. Call me like lightweight all y'all want. I don't even care. Okay. Um next question. What's the freakiest thing you've ever done? Y'all, in all honesty, I don't know how to answer this question. Like, what is freaky? And I know I probably sound stupid saying that, but like, it's like things that y'all call freaky to me is like average. Like, I wish my girlfriend was here to help me. Um, well, not explain it, but I guess he answered the question for me. Um, Cause it's like, I don't know. Like there's things that I do naturally that my girlfriend be like, babe, you're a freak. Like get your little freaky ass off of me like that. But to me, that's normal. Like, I don't know. So I don't know what the freakiest thing would be because to me, I just see it as normal. Y'all see it as freaky. So like, how do you answer that, Mason? What's the freakiest thing you did? I bet I can tell you that. He done did some freaky shit, though. So like, I don't know if I should, I would. <laughs> Summer again. I want who the fuck 
not just accidents. Like, whoo. Mason, that was a good one. That got me in the toe for that one. Um, would you ever be friends with Summer again? Because Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, I'm on your ass. Because why you come on this video being messy like this? Um, would you ever be friends with somebody? It's like, it's like, I know the answer to this question, but it's just a matter of do I want to answer it on camera right now? Because it's like, I'm not here for entertainment, I'm not here for drama, I'm not here for none of that extra stuff. Y'all ask me a question, and I'm contemplating how I want to give y'all the answer. Because I don't want it to be no, oh, I seen Weemo's last video, and she said that she'll be your friend again, y'all should start, you know, you maybe y'all should try to be friends again. Or I don't want the, oh, I watched Weemo's story, she said that she will never be friends with you again, so she starts getting on Instagram talking shit about me and all this other stuff. I don't have time for none of that. I don't want no beef. I don't have no, you feel me? I don't got no beef with Summer. I don't got no smoke with Summer. It ain't nothing. No, it's no bad blood over here. You feel me? Because of what? No. I, no, wait. No, no, no. I'm not answering the question. I'm saying no. Like, I'm not going to answer the question. I'm not saying no to the question. I'm saying no to answering that. Got to emphasize that. Um, only because I don't, I just don't want no, oh, Lima said this in her video, and Lima, 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 I don't want to be y'all's trending topic, but I just, but I got to find out who asked me that question, because you're messing with asking me that. <laughs> Woo! All right. How many shots I done took? Four? Would you do a threesome with Icy? You know... I've, you know, I've asked myself that, and this kind of, kind of hops off of what I have a threesome. Now, because of Icy being who she is as a person, no, I would not have a threesome with her. Um, not saying it in a bad way, meaning I'm saying it in the sense of because she knows what she's doing, I don't want to share that with nobody. That's why I personally would not have a threesome with Icy. Um, and it's like, because, like, say we in the moment, and, like, say if I feel like my girlfriend's doing too much, I'm going to be the party pooper. We're done. We're done. We're done. Pack it up. You're done. And then it's like, my girlfriend, she don't want to have a threesome either because she says that she don't like sharing her girlfriend. So like, yeah. Overall, I would not have a threesome with her though because she knows what she's doing, and that's like, that's my, that's my bitch, like my bitch. So no, nobody else gonna have her unless she goes somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Next question: Out of all your bodies, name the best one. Why do I feel like I know who wrote this? That sounds like some shit Michaela would say, like. I think what did I what did I do before? I posted something else in my story asking for questions one time. And she said something similar or something messy like this. That's why I feel like it's Michaela. Because she said she was gonna go back and write more questions, but I could be wrong, I don't know. But if I'm right, Michaela, when I catch you, when I catch you, Michaela, when I catch you, when I catch you, Michaela. <laughs> But to answer that question, I'll give it to my girlfriend. Like, I'm not saying that just because she's my girlfriend. But I thought that is definitely a good question to ask when I'm single. Not when I'm single, if I was to ever become single again. But I feel like you still, my answer would still be icy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we got four more, y'all. Four more, four more. What is something that you would have told your 16 year old self? Save some money become an influencer right then and there. Um, yeah, I think that is what I would tell myself in real life if I was 16 years old. 
uh, 16 years old again, I think I would tell myself to go ahead and start saving and really figure out what you want to do because, you know. Um, three more, three more, three more. Are you an experimental, experimental, I don't know how to say that word, experimentist, experiment, experiment, whatever, experiment, um, experimental, that's what I'm going to say. Are you experimental? I say yeah, I like to try different things, depending on what it is that I like. You got to kind of give me like a rundown or like an idea of what's going to happen or, you feel me, you can't just... Throw it at me because then I'm like, ooh, hold on, baby, back up, reverse, back it up, back it up, back it up. So, yes, I would say I like to experiment and try different things. Next one. Do you miss anyone from your past friend or former partner? Do I miss anybody from my former past? Partner wise? Friends wise, mm. oh. I guess you could say no. Like, I wouldn't say I missed it. But like, say, like, I'm speaking from the standpoint of if I was single too. Um, if I was single and like say, that former friend or partner tried to reach out to me. Like, I'm not gonna be against talking to them. Because me personally, I don't hold grudges against people. Like, I feel like when you hold grudges, you're disturbing your own peace. Like, you're mad at this person while this person is still living their life like there's no tomorrow. So it's like, that's why I personally do not hold grudges on people. Like, because I just feel like I'm disturbing my own peace by trying to be mad at them for a year or six months, whatever the case may be. So I wouldn't necessarily say I miss anybody. Now, again, if I was single and like rather friendship or a former partner reached out to me, like I'll give the conversation, but I'm not gonna bounce back to what we was like. Cause me personally, it's like, once I'm done with you and on that type of level, I'm done. Like there's no doubling back. I've never doubled back on anybody I've dealt with in the past. Like, no. So I wouldn't necessarily miss anybody, but like, if I was single again, um, and they reached out to me, I would respond, you know, communicate with them if they want to communicate, but it will never get back to that point of what we was or whatever. Right, that was friendships, being close, or a former partner of messing around. It just won't ever get to that point. I will feel like I always had to have a bar with you because clearly we stopped talking for a reason. So, yeah. Sorry, Mason. I didn't hit him though, y'all. It hit literally lit right in front of his face. So the next and last question. Oh, that's the best question to end the video with. Is it true that you a bad B? Ooh! I don't know, y'all tell me. Am I a bitch a bad bitch yet? How about now? What about now? So that looks like that's gonna wrap up all the questions for today. The questions weren't too bad. Some of y'all a little messy. Some of y'all was trying to dig into the deep end. But that's okay, because I don't find out who you are, Ricky. And when I catch you, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, I'm on your ass. Mason, get up and say bye to the people. Come say bye to LTL gang. Say bye, LTL gang. Y'all, he is so big. Oh my god. Ugh. Say bye, LTL Gary. I went to the store and got him a, a little pajama shirt. As y'all can see, he's a little too big for it. So I gotta go back and get him another extra large. Cause uh say, say I'm a big boy. Say I'm a big boy, Marty. Say bye, LTL gang. Say bye, gang. Alright, y'all. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for all the questions. Go ahead and drop a like for me before you exit out this video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification on. Go ahead and 
drop that LTL game with a hard comment for me before you head out. And again, I'm going to say this one more time. Drop that motherfucking like on this video. Comment LTL game with a heart. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn the notification on. Yeah.